It's time to uh, start a work on this old wagon. So firstly I want to remove and split a little bit of this copper uh, plate and then yeah, drop that one part off that I want off. So this other piece I want to in here I think it's this one Yes, it's this one Okay, let me just check Okay guys, let me show you what's my plan With the first wheel I've got this uh, cable ties around um, the band here, the, the copper band at the bottom, at the at the ends, and now I'm going to take this part and put it in there. Like such. And line it up nice. Okay, and then, then I'm going to try and fasten it a little bit. Okay, so it looks okay. And it will never be perfect, but now I'm going to glue it temporary with super glue I will put some wood glue on later it's just to hold it into place so I can let this on dry and then this will will be okay this is also loose, so I need to strap that also, glue it. Okay, this wheel is done now, as far as assembling is, is concerned. So I'm going to put it aside and proceed with the next wheel, which is this one. I put in a new section here. Uh, it's not new, you know, one of the previous ones that, it was, what, uh, that was just loose. So I need to make two spokes now, but there you can see some glue that I must remove first and then uh, make myself new spokes. There's the wood. So let's do that first. Okay, James, I made two. The correct size and let's try and put it in. is in. Just remove this axle. And now the other one. Okay, so I think that's good. It's a matter of glue it quickly. And to the inside. So this copper part is loose so my plan here is put some glue in as far as possible and then I'm going to take this o-ring and 
put it on. I can always cut that off. Like that. It's just to hold it against the the axle there. Okay, so this can also dry now. Okay, James, I want to work on the brake system now. I'll tackle the other two wheels a little later. So this little wire must come here. I want to glue it there. Oh, that's too much. Let me just hold it a little bit so that it can just stick. Okay, now for this part, it go in here. Just sit like that. Okay, and well, that part is uh, dry a little bit. Let me repair this brake, brake shoe. Quickly, and I need to make a new one for there, for there, for there. So, uh, and then we're going to put the undercarriage on, and that will be the video for the day. Okay, let's put a little bit of glue again there, and then we can... Take this part, I think I must just swing it. 180 degrees, yes. Something like that. Okay, let's look if we can attach the brake part here to that copper wires there okay that one is in and let me just get that one moving that way let me take my pliers okay it's on let me just check what is going on there okay guys here is the braking system um, that works, but I can't figure out what 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 create the movement for it to break. So I still need to check it out a little bit. But I will go ahead and make a new a new part there. That shaft that going through there. That that was the one that I glued there together. Uh, so I, now that I see how it works. That part is not strong enough there, eh, if you can see. It, I, that sh the whole shaft sh swivel in that two, two parts there. It's not, as you can see there, that's an action. 
and uh, here's the brake shoe that come forward and brake against the wheel but I need to figure out what what in the wagon caused that to automatically happen uh, maybe there was a, a braking mechanism to the driver here or whatsoever I will check out okay but for now this is how far I came for today with the two wheels that is more or less repaired just for some fine detail tuning at the end and then yeah as I mentioned I will repair or make a new part there okay well thanks for watching so far